For the first one, it'll be best for us to go back to Scilab. Because there's a nifty little shortcut there. We need to get deep into the internet for this one. As such, time to go use Drillman's Tunnel again. So nice of him to leave that open for us. of navvies all around. Twice the navvy power! Hopefully that'll help in influencing a team style. always nice to get counters because so many bug frags I'm gonna need for things. So we need to get over here to Undernet 6. You weren't here before. Seatome. Yeah, I got it. But if you want it, you're gonna have to battle me. I haven't been able to find any worthy opponents lately. You look like you might have what it takes, so give it a shot. If you win, you can have this. All right, there's a good sport. Oh man, twinest viruses. I need to at least limit how they can move. and get in a good shot on both of them there. Bingo! I knew I was right about you. Here, take it. And so we get the sea tome As long as we're here, we may as well look around a little bit. I can get rid of another security cube here. Flame Man Seal has weakened. get another weapon level plus one. Go ahead and get the green mystery data, because why not? And we've made it all the way to Undernet 7. And Drillman's seal has weakened. We get a Pawn Y, and Gut Impact J. It's a faintly glowing curtain. When you try to touch it, a voice chastises from above. Only the king of the undernet may pass, unworthy one. The curtain emits a mysterious force that pushes you back. So nothing we can do with that yet. And we get Hammer. It's a mysterious door that emits an uncanny light. Words have been carved in the middle. This door shall open only for the truly strong. Let's see here. see if I get anything good from that. Well, I got Discord. Time for a big old storm of chaos. Grumble, grumble. So hungry. Must find bug frags. Give me 50 bug frags and I'll move out of your way. Eh, may as well. Nice job. Go on through. At least it's a one-time fee. None but the king of the undernet shall enter. 
and no going through that curtain. But at least the paths are open. We'll have to come back there later. For now, though, we need to get back to Undernet 3. So, back to Yoka. There is a lot of backtracking involved in this particular job, I will admit. But we're getting close to done with it. Just one tome left to get. Always nice to find free cash, not going to complain about that. Eh, passed up a mystery data there, but whatever. Yeah, I kind of just want to get there at this point. If something interesting shows up that I have a quick way to deal with, well, I'll do so, but... For now, I'd rather just get there as quickly as I can. Essentially, we need to get to where Flame Man was originally. And that's not the right way, is it? They still haven't repaired that broken part of the internet. Sadly, they never do. This book is a mess. Totally filthy. Not only that, I just don't get all these weird symbols. Huh? You look like something. If it, you look like something. <laughs> what, dirty old book? Yeah, it's not like I need it or anything, but still. I ain't giving it away for nothing. Look here. Give me your Magnum 1A and you can have the book. Sure thing, have it. Alright, we have a deal then. There you go. And so we get Sky Tone. I just don't get it. Sky, Land, and Sea. Three layers of significance. What's this piece of paper mean by that anyway? Some riddle? Beats me. So now that we have all three books, what do we do with them? Well, we can take them back to the guy that asked for them. But then, if you do that right now, you'll never find the treasure of the books. So let's have a look at these books. Let's see... Sky Tome, Land Tome, and Sea Tome. Old data that looks like a cloud? Old data that looks like a mountain? old data that looks like an ocean. We've got the three books, but what to do with them from here? So, did you use the term I gave you for anything? Huh. The thing is, I know where it points to, but, uh... What puzzles me is I'm not quite sure how you get to that conclusion. It feels like there's something I'm missing. I might need to take a refreshing pause and look that up, actually. I thought it was a lot more straightforward than this. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to need to do a little bit of research, so refreshing pause for the moment. Well, I went looking at the facts over on GameFAQs for this, and none of them actually explain what the deal is. I myself had a failed memory there where I thought it was just English letters that you had to rearrange according to the order of the tomes. Studying them a bit, though, I figured it out. 
If you take all three tomes and put the strange text that's on them together like this, with sky over land over sea, the blocks actually spell out some Japanese text, so I hope you can read Japanese. Luckily, I at least know where it leads, even though I can't read this or make heads or tails of it, but at least I feel satisfied in knowing how this puzzle actually works. Right, so that little bit of puzzle solving out of the way, it's time to finally go claim our reward. Please note you can only actually get this reward if you still have the tomes in your possession. If you go ahead and turn them into the, uh, the one that gave you the job, this treasure is lost forever. So yeah, as far as that bit of writing, what it's supposed to lead us to is actually the school. Specifically, the teacher's lounge. We need to investigate the statue. A strange statue given by a shady antiques dealer. When you shake it, something rattles around inside. Len, take out those old tomes we got. Huh? Why? They had some strange markings on them, right? The same markings are on the statue. Look! The markings from the three tomes are right there. Well, I'm glad you see him, Mega Man. I sure don't. Whoa, cool. Len, let's see what's inside. Yeah. Oh, it's just some old chip data. But look, this data is for a huge amount of cash. And so we get 300,000 zennies. Very nice. Even if that doesn't really work for that. I'm, I'm guessing the Japanese version of the game made more sense in that. Instead of just saying, hey, there's mysterious markings that the player can't see. Yeah, that's kind of a weird one. Anyway, though, time to go turn in those tomes. I did go ahead and rearrange my folder a little bit during the break. Since I got so many program advances against Drillman there, I went ahead and put in some new ones. I figure the more of those I go ahead and get out of the way before the grinding session, the less I'll have to do then. Because, let's face it, we all know there's going to be a grinding session in the future. You're going down. That's all there is to it. Right then, time for a book delivery. You've brought them to me. Ah, yes. <laughs> Nobody can touch them now. They're mine, forever. You've done a great job, Navi. Here, take your reward. And so we get a chip for fast gauge asterisk. Very nice. Might at some point put that in my folder so I can free up some space on the Navicast. Largely it'll depend on if I can make that a default chip or not. If so, that would be great. For now though, back to Scilab. <laughs> 